if you have a diesel tractor that for some reason it doesn't uh, want to start, one of the first things I would always check is the fuel shutoff solenoid. The fuel sh shutoff solenoid is used to actually allow fuel flow into the injection pump. And it's an electromechanical uh, device where what's going to happen is there's two parts to it. There's one that's called a pull-in coil. The pull-in coil is what's going to actually operate the fuel uh, solenoid. It operates for th about three seconds. It's a high current uh, circuit, so if you had it going uh, all the time, it would just burn out the coil. So what they did is they put a second coil, and that's called a hold-in coil. The hold-in coil is going to be a lower current drain, and it's going to be controlled by the ignition switch and the seat switch. When you turn your ignition switch on and you're sitting on the seat, it's going to allow current flow and hold the relay in. When you first turn your ignition switch on, you're going to hear sort of a clunk. When you hear that, you know that the fuel solenoid is actually pulling in and it should be uh, allowing the engine to start unless the hold-in side of the coil is bad. The hold-in side of the coil is going to come from the switch in series with your seat. So if you go off your seat, you're driving along and you hit a bump and you bounce off the seat, it'll kill your engine. So that's something that a seat switch can be a problem. Um, a lot of people have them jumpered, and I've seen cases where after a while the jumper was corroded. It was just a piece of 14-gauge wire somebody had stuck in there, and that wasn't going to uh, you know, allow a good current flow. But if you want to check the coils in the solenoid, up on top of the engine there's this three-conductor uh, plug and socket and there are three wires there's going to be a black wire a red wire and a white wire if you want to check the solenoid you unplug it and on the leads going to the solenoid you would ground your ohmmeter take one lead and connect it to the black and then try the white and the red the resistance is going to be I'm going to guess it's like, I believe it's like around 15, 20 ohms on the pull-in, and it's probably in the neighborhood of 30, 40, somewhere around there on the hold-in. So that would be one way that you could test to see whether the solenoid is good. Then you can take the wires that are coming here, and you should have, when you turn your ignition switch on, the white wire kind of hard to get back there the white wire into this connector should have battery on it for about three seconds the red wire is the hold-in wire that should have voltage on there continuously when the ignition switch is turned on and when the seat switch is made so you need to have the seat switch made so that's something that uh, that would be a simple way to test it um, I've seen a lot of problems with seat switches, and I've had problems with seat with switches where uh, if they're not making a good connection, they'll kill the engine, and that's exactly what they're supposed to do. So this is just a quick little uh, lesson on how this operates. Uh, after, you know, if the solenoid checks okay, then go back to the uh, wires going back to the control board, and this could be a matter of the ignition switch is bad or something on that board um, has failed. So the technical manual doesn't give you a lot of uh, explanations. I just went and looked and uh, didn't, I couldn't find very much on it at all. But I hope this gives you at least a little heads up on what to start looking for.